Blog Talk Radio. Yeah. Be sick. Let's get it. Ah. Uh, 24 7, 365. I ain't got time to sit and rest my mind on the grind. Go and get it for me and mine. 24 7, 365. Stand focused. Don't talk about it. Just be about it. My birth is son who was born. Man, Mr. Stout holding it down right here on the Scheme Beats Radio Music Review on Blog Talk Radio. We got an exclusive thing going on right now, man. Got an artist is coming out of Cincinnati, Ohio, man. Oh, man. Big up Ohio because we out here actually in Columbus, man. So this is going to be definitely a great interview that we got going on right here. Um, the artist's name is Black Cross. He's doing his thing, man. That joint you just heard right there, man, is one of his songs right there off of, uh, I think it's an EP. We're going to get some more information about what's going on with this. But um, we got him on the air right now. Black Cross, you there with us? Yeah, I'm here with you. What it do, B? Yeah. How, how are you, man? I'm good. It's just a long day. I've been on the go nonstop. <laughs> I, yeah, I know how it is out there, man. Like, you know, you, you're putting in that work, man. You got these new joints, man. And I'm glad you had the opportunity like this because we get a chance to talk to you. But, you you know, you come on the show. We want to let people know what's going on with you and this whole this whole vibe that you got going on. Let, let our listeners know what, what Black Cross is all about. How you get to start? Uh, I originally got my name from my grandfather. He always my, his favorite color was black, and he always said I was. He always gave me the gave me the nickname Cross when I was little. My dad yeah. uh, gave me the nickname J Dog, but I was like Nah, Dad, don't call me Cross. I was like, you know what? Call me Black Cross at that, because my grandfather passed away in 2000. So he was mm-hmm. a, he was like the head honcho of the family, the godfather of the family. Right. Like that right there, but, man. So your name definitely. Has a, a, a you know it has a meaning to it and everything man so that's what's really good man so like you was you like you was born out there in Detroit but you you know wound up moving out here to uh since well to Cincinnati to Ohio um so how, what was the transition for that? Uh, I really didn't have a choice. I was a teenager. Um, 
mom, my mom, my mother and my father moved me down Cincinnati. Uh, when I actually moved down here, I kind of felt a little a, a little behind because you know the education up there is it's like two years behind. Um, so I sat there, jumped into school, had to get caught up on everything, and um, I'm. I've always had a passion for the music. Like, since I was a kid, yeah. it started off with beats, um, beats, uh, instruments. Um, I played piano a little bit. Okay. Um, and when you was referring to the name Black Cross, I actually broke the the black word down in acronyms. I'm working that working on the cross part. Okay. Yeah, I, I see how the way you got your name was like the cross is in 50, it's like 55, like two fives. And that has some sort of a... Uh, a meaning to that as well. Uh, actually, that's the that was the age my grandfather passed away. He was fifty five nah, years old. Nah. Um, I and I also mm-hmm. made it fifty five because you know I wanted to represent him and represent myself mm-hmm. and to stand out better. So people, when people uh, search me up, like when they search me on Google or any other um, website or music platform. I stand out. I'll be the first artist to pop up on any platform. Right, right. Because definitely, when we're doing some research and checking you out, man, yeah, your name definitely uh, pops up. It's in the, it's, you know, it's synonymous by itself. Like, boom, it's right there. You know, for what you're doing for your music, that's definitely dope, man. So, now, how did you get into to the writing? Like, you know, how like let our listeners know how did you get into the writing, or you know, what influenced you to want to get into uh, the genre of hip hop? Um, poetry. Um. I took up a uh, literature class in high in, uh, middle school, and I started writing poems. And during that time frame while I was in middle school, my dad used to push, constantly push music on, oh, if you're going to do music, you need to study this. I see you got the talent, son. Let, let me push you into this. So he had me study the history of music. So I grew up listening to Biggie and Pi and N.W.A. and um, Dre, Dr. Dre and one yeah. of my biggest idols is Biggie and T.I. And then, of course, my uncle, mm-hmm. shot to him, he out in Detroit. He go by B.M. All right. Um, yeah, that's what's... He, they, they motivated me to really sit down and write. I write all my all my music. Like, I put so much time into it. I'm actually working on a new project at the same time right now. Okay. Yeah, so that's why you're so busy out there. You like working on new projects and you're out there putting yourself out there and, and you're performing. You guys like shows you've been doing or some of those things like that and videos as well? Yes. I actually just shot my first music video. I had to find me a, a videographer um, that was different because I'm shooting my video out in Cincinnati right now. Um, okay. I just shot part of 365 on Sunday. I'm just going to be three different scenes. I shoot two more scenes of video though won't be done and officially released till the end of the month or probably the beginning of the next month. All right. So you were just talking about some of your influences, but like how do you, without giving out too much information out there to those who be sitting there like trying to snatch somebody's style, but how do you come up with some of the songs that you come up with? I've listened to some of the tracks and, and it's like they definitely fire. But like what is your process of going into the studio? Uh, my process is First, to be honest with you, I got to feel the beat. The beat got to touch my soul, and it makes me – I listen to a few artists to find motivation and just look up and search different titles. I come up with a random title, and I Google search it and see, oh, nah, I can't do that title because it's, somebody did it before. I wanted to always stand out and do something different. Like, No Love in the Street is a common title, but – my message on my verse is a little different than what the other artist is going about it. Um, uh, 365, I ain't really heard nobody make a track called 365, so I was yeah. just wanting to learn how to be different. I've always been a different breed. Right. So when you go into the studio, do you create the song in the studio, or you got, the, you got, you got your, your plan, your strategy already ready before you even get in front, get into the booth? Uh, I actually got uh, three or four different producers. Uh, I get I meet them in the studio from time to time. They'll start the process on the beat, and I start writing the hook, and that's how the song starts to develop with the beat and the hook. And then I leave from the studio and just sit on the sit on the song for like two two days, and then literally write like I write ten ten twelve verses 
and out of them 10, 10 12 verses, I uh, break pieces of each verse and put together a, a decent verse. Right, yeah. That's what's up, man. I mean, and, and so now your, your process of doing everything, like getting it out there and everything, like, now, you know, how was your, your, your fan base or how are people receiving you out there in Cincinnati? I mean, I get I get a lot of love everywhere in Cincinnati. Like not just not just the Cincinnati area, but yeah, Dayton, Columbus, great. Like okay. I, I get I get a lot of love. Uh, just networking with different people, I'd be willing to collab and work with people. I'm not the type of person that be like, oh, he okay? I'm, no, I'm still gonna do music with you. If you if you want to collab, all you gotta do is hit me up, message me. I, I'm down for whatever. If it's about right. music, I'm I'm down for it. Yeah, you got that passion, and I I love that right there. So what's so what's this, the 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 music scene out in Cincinnati like right now, or anywhere like like have you like places you've been to that you worked at? Um, out of um actually my studio I used to work for established media group uh owned by Twan Gotti um he uh, okay. actually gave me my start. He gave me my okay. start when I was 16, 17, and I was like, I was like, he said, man, we need better. I need a better program so I can make sure your music, music sound right. And he's like, and he asked me to learn a few things. So for a while, I kept just dropping singles, and then I eventually just stopped dropping music and sat down and started learning the business of music so I could manage myself and set things up, set goals and and examples for myself, but not, not just for myself, but for other artists. Like, you yeah. can do a lot of this stuff yourself. You just got to put in the work. That's true. That's like, true. And I, and I think that's what it is for a lot of independent artists out there. Like, they, when you out there finding your way, you're finding your way to how the way you can do these certain things and get yourself out there. A lot of artists are looking, searching for, like, the big major deal, but like doing it yourself, you get a, a, you know, like it, the better results that way, and then you can you know control how the way whatever labels are coming to you, if it's gonna be bidding wars and things like that. You know, or do you find yourself liking to just more like control your situation as an independent artist, or are you searching to uh, lock it down with a, a major label? Um, I will lock it down with a major label. It's just the royalty on the royalty side; they gotta be right. Um, yeah. I don't do I don't do music to make make money to be honest. I I do music for the, for the people for the people yeah. like what's going on in society like mm. I write my music based off of what I what I experience or learn from other people experiences and I put it in my music and try to relate to you the best way I can. Yeah, we definitely hear that in the song. You got definitely uh, No Love in the Streets is one of those songs that have that. I also want to give a big shout-out to uh, Twan Gotti because we also know of him. When I worked with uh, Streets D Radio with uh, First Lady Good Dive out there in St. Louis, I think Twan Gotti was on one of our one of our magazines for uh, Streets Most. And, um, yeah, uh, big up to him for doing the thing out there still to this day. So that's what's up. So now who's some of the producers that you're working with on this project? Is it an EP or is it uh, an album or just singles? Uh-oh. It's an EP album uh, called Stardust and Nothing. Um, I actually put everything together myself. I had a producer. He go by Nino Bags. He uh, he made my song. He made the album, the album cover. I did the song cover for 365 and uh, No Love in These Streets. I'm also making a new cover for my upcoming project after Stardust and Nothing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what's really good, man. So now on these tracks that you have, do you have um, anybody that you're actually um, like featuring or you uh, collaborating with anyone? Um, on No Love in the Streets, I'm uh, I featured on with uh, Swift and Hughes. Um, I, I'm actually supposed to be meeting up with my guy Major. He based out here in Cincinnati. He go by Major Life. Um, we have a track together called Ain't Nobody Like Me. Um, we got another track called Knockout. It, it, it's, it's, it's definitely a great experience. I'm willing to work with whoever. Like, they, I just I just love music, man. Like, to be honest with you. I just yeah, like man. the energy. And... 
so so you like just, have you been traveling to the south? I mean, I know we're going through uh, just like getting out of this pandemic, like somewhat. But have you been like performing or been like traveling to any places, any other cities, any states? Um, I've been to um, Miami, Florida. I've been to um, Atlanta once. That was a while ago. Um, yeah. I, I mostly performed in Detroit and uh, Cincinnati so far. I performed with celebrities, memories, um, uh, Mad Frog. Uh, in the, it's a couple indoors lounge and um, a strip club out of Dayton. I, it's a long, long time ago. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, recently, I'm trying to set up, set up a two month tour right now. Once the album drop, I'm trying to just finish up. Uh, two music videos to uh, get ready to start a two month tour. I'm working on working on getting a contract done. Okay, that, that's what's up because we definitely we have some things out here that's, that's going on here in Columbus that we're working with uh, a touring company in uh, Hot Nine Six Five and also uh, One One Hundred Six Point Three out here in Columbus. We're doing some things out there for a, uh, a tour that's going on actually around the country and they're coming here since two o. They're coming to Columbus, uh, actually, uh, the weekend of 4th of July, you know. So that would be pretty cool. I don't know if you can make it out this way or something like that, but I'll definitely, like, talk to you about that and see some information about that. Maybe we get a chance to see you perform live out here in Columbus. Yeah, most definitely. I, I would personally drive there myself. All right, let's make that happen, man. Now, how do you feel about the scene right now with with with, with music? Like, you know, is it is it at a good place or as like where where do you feel like the the genre, not just hip hop, but music in a whole? Where where you feel it's at right now? Um, music as a whole is evolving. Like, um, I I think it's more opportunities for artists for a lot of artists now compared to back in the day. Um to grow and um elevate like that's yeah. the goal at the end of the day you're supposed to elevate your music is this something you want to do for a living is this something you want to do for as a career you, you always want to elevate so music is in is is definitely at a great place right now yeah yeah, I think it is too because everybody has the opportunity. I think it's it's a, a, a more of a, a level like playing field, you know, where uh, like somebody can come up to make a song in their in their bedroom, and then next you know it's like a number one song on international radio. So that that definitely changes things up compared to everybody like pushing it to the radio stations or the commercial radio stations and saying, hey, you got to play this, I got to play this record. But songs, people, the fans, you're so much closer to your fans now where you can go through the social media and, you know, things of that nature. So on your social media, how are you with your fans and, and, and your, you know, the followers? I interact with everyone. Like, if they, if some people, some people might comment, hey, I like your song, it's dope. Would you be willing to do a feature? Yes. Well, how much do you charge for, for a feature? Right now, I'm not charging nobody for no feature. I'm willing, I'm willing to next one with everyone. If it's, I don't care if they're across the country. If you send me your music and you want me to jump on it, I I will I will literally have a verse done, a hook done in a few days and be ready to go. When you ready to do a music video, I'm down for whatever. It's, I got I got everything I need. I got a videographer. I got three studios. I have um I have a person that do graphic art design. I got a right. I, my, I got a guy right now who's working on my official Black Cross Music website. It should be it should be up and running by next month. Okay. Yeah. That, that, see, that's, see, that's, see, that's, see, I love it when when artists out there making moves. Like I see a lot of like we get on, on Atlantic Music Industry Group. Uh, we see a lot of artists, you know, putting their stuff out there, and and I know that they at a certain spot where they, they they're, they're doing their their threshold. But when artists are up there trying to seek and find different ways to make things happen, I love that, man. I, I love seeing that, like, you know, starting to, like, go, go to certain places and, like, you know, like, actually, like, inter- like, like, really integrate with everyone, you know. So, like, how about, like, like South by Southwest? Have you had opportunities, things like that, or any other, like, big uh, events that you've been uh, actually been, you know, invited to? Um. 
through Reverb Nation, I've been uh, invited to a Stop the Violence concert um, okay. back in 2017. Recently, no, I literally put everything on pause until I got my, my EP album done because it's my first official EP that's been released. I've done mixtapes, but I never released it on social media before. So I okay. always just, you know, sold CDs by hand at first. But then when I got in tune with the social media, you know, I felt like it's only up from there. Right, yeah, all the way up, man. No doubt about it. It's your man, Mr. Scott, right here on the Scheme Beats Radio Music Review, a special edition right here on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, we want to get to one of your joints right here. Um, I wanted to start the joint with uh, Started From Nothing, so you can get some of that. Uh, you want to hang out with us a little bit, a little bit longer so we can get to one of your songs? Yeah, sure. All right, let's do this real quick, man. Black Cross is in the house right here, man. Come get some of this joint right here. We're going to rock this one started from nothing. Yeah, come get some right here on the Steve Beast Radio Music Review. All right, let's turn up. MDI, DC. Can't take nobody serious. Everybody stay focused, focused on the hustle, keep getting rich. People wondering who is this? Well, they know they curious. BC, I'm too furious. Get them lifestyle of a lyricist. Growing up saying niggas hating on the next man. You get the money any way you can. The niggas really sick in the head. All I see is blue and red. Heaven Hill got a P game. Some hoods getting better, some got worse. No, this shit changed. Nothing the same. My dog thought the streets was money and games. Doing dumb shit for fame. How can he see putting in work? I repeat to my dead homies and family. Laying in dirt. But I took a different way for switching up my personality. Like, like a Gemini. Making major moves. Cali having major key. Get like him times three. Cruise around the city getting litty. Having fun doing me. me. Dropping classes target on my back. Like an atlas moving silently. In these streets. Buzzing like a bumblebee. Bumble like the death is you and me. Got some hitters. Get it done. Small feet. King shit. LeBron James. Shoot the kill. Not the miss. Banging at the real Hurting feelings. Pressing all dreams. And making dreams reality. Don't, don't don't make me angry, let the incredible heart out of me, the evil side of me. Go for fun and torture the state, I'd rather be friendly, keep up peaceful. Most lethal with a smart mind, no dummy, my road to success. Legacy of an icon, can be overshadow a real trouble for knocking on the door. Don't get shadow. Unlike others, I stay real and truthful to myself. And there were what's happening, awaiting at the door. It's hard to overcome the roar, so witness the gore, the pain, the war. He said he may be one of these days that become your idol. And open your eyes, meaning there's more to life. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! That right there! Oh, my! Oh, man! You know when you listen to a joint, you got the you got the you nod your head, but you got the ugly face going. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you just look like oh, like that that was body, bro, right there. I'm digging that. Shout out to Richie Foss for ma- mixing and mastering that one for me. <laughs> he, that is, he definitely was, he definitely was a great engineer. I'm good, man. Black Cross is on the check-in right here with us on Skeebies Radio Music Review. It's a special edition right here, man. Now, you guys are going to get a chance to hear all of these songs. Again, we're going to run this again also on uh, my Spreaker channel tonight. So this interview, if you missed this tonight, you're going to, if you missed the live one, you're going to actually hear it again tonight at 9 o'clock at Eastern Time right here on Spreaker.com on TV's Radio Music Review. And it's going to be all across the globe from Spotify, iTunes, wherever you download your music at or where you download your podcast, you'll be able to a chance to hear this. We're definitely going to promote this all the way up. Bro, I, I'm loving that drum right there, man. Like, yo, like, who, who you say you worked that with? Uh, I, my producer, Twan Gotti, he, he made the beat. Uh, Richie mm. Falls mixed and mastered my vocals. I recorded okay. that out of Richie Falls Studios. He's an artist, too. Um, okay. But he's one of the best, one of the best engineers besides Twan Gotti out of Cincinnati, yeah. If you never yeah. heard of them, you better tune in very, very soon mm. before it all Something. pop off. I, I'm really, really liking that right there, man. I really do, man. And now, so how many songs are you going to have on this EP uh, slash album? Like, how many tracks are we going to get? 
Um, it's only gonna be t- ten tracks on there. Yeah, that's that's that was just the intro that you heard. And if you like that one, like I said, it's plenty more hits. Oh, so so, so the, the the joy uh, started from nothing is the intro. Yes, that's the intro. Man, of the hour. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. So I mean, so what 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 are the fans and your followers and the new the new listeners? What what can they expect from uh you know from this EP um album started from nothing? Consistency, consistency. Mm. Um, okay. that's 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 the main thing. Like every track, you're you're gonna be able to listen to every song on the EP album. It's not gonna be one of them albums where you would skip it. Like you you yeah. might have a lot of people got those taste of music where where oh okay I'm gonna listen to this artist. Oh, his I like two, two, three songs out of the album. It's a, it's, it's a okay, it's a okay TV. But I'm not trying to. I don't, I don't want that perception. I want that perception where you can listen and make. You, I want to make you want to listen to every song. I'll play it back, put it in replay. Mm-hmm. Like that's, right. that's that's the kind of artist. I'm. Yeah. I, I love that. I love that riding music too, man. When you can ride to it, like you don't have to change it. This is the next song. You gonna put that that replay or play it again or keep it on the loop. You know what I mean? I love that kind of music because you like, you're like if you're listening to something to somebody and it, and it has a good feeling, but the it's the lyrics. I can tell that you actually are a lyricist. You're not just somebody just slap some words together. Like now, how 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 close are you to how what you put out for your lyrics? Like like how how. How is how close is it to you to your heart of what the songs you put out there? The way you writing it? Uh, every song I write from the heart, like I said, from experiences, my experiences, life, from other people's experiences, just growing and learning from other different people. Like that's just I put every I put my heart and soul into the music. Man, you can you can tell, I mean, you can hear it, and you can tell, like you know, from that, from just from just hearing these songs right here, like the song that we, like for three sixty five, we heard that one, and then also like you know, uh, started from nothing, like you said, which is the intro, but they sound like you know, that's ready, like you know, to get all the way out there too, like, as one of the singles as well, you know, it was like it's definitely dope. <laughs> uh, tell us, tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you've had previously, like you said you did like some mixtapes. Um, tell us uh, some of the mixtapes that you worked on. Uh, I had a mixtape called The American Dream where a life, lifestyle of a lyricist was on there. That's why I quoted that in the uh, Started From Nothing. Um, the Started From Nothing single, um, that pinpointed actually a few songs, Lifestyle of a Lyricist, and I um, did another mixtape called I'm Me, and that was a that was an EP as well, but that was only a six-track six EP mixtape. Mhm. Yeah. So now, like, so can can some of the listeners uh, find that on, like, say, like SoundCloud or that Piff or Reverb Nation or something like that? In the previous work. That you can find it on SoundCloud, that Piff, YouTube. You'll find uh, a decent amount of singles on my uh, artist page on Reverb Nation. Okay. They they really work with me and give me a lot of opportunities to elevate. They got a lot of opportunities. Mm. <laughs> Man, you, it, it's just ridiculous and crazy. I actually met yeah. a couple of singers on there. Uh, I'm going to be re-releasing a, a track off of one of my mixtapes called Body of Clock. Um, okay. Wow. I had to yeah. take, I had to redo the song because an a artist um, I'm not able to work with anymore because she moved out of the city. And there's no way for me to get back in contact with her. She used to sing, and I had, unfortunately I had to take her off the song because I was gonna go all out and do a music video and want to perform a show, but she was unable to do any of them things. So yeah. I found a different singer in order for me to release that. You'll be hearing that on the new on the new album because I feel like that's a banger too. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what it's, that's what it's all about, man. Like. Like giving the people what they want and 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 make like so they can like in, 
like they definitely get involved in in, in stealing it. Like, like I'm a musician myself. I play drums and I produce. I've done it for several years. I've worked with BT and and worked with uh, uh, Def Jam and VH1. I've done, you know, I've dabbled in certain things. I've worked with a lot of places down in Atlanta and. Uh, being out here in Ohio, starting to do more things out here. I'm originally from like, Jersey, like, you know, close to Staten Island and Brooklyn, and seeing that scene out there. Like, you, you coming from Detroit, and you said you go back and forth. Do you um, implement all of the things or all, all the different places you've been to, like, you know, into your, incorporated into your music? Yes, everywhere I go. I, I, I don't, you could be a person walking down the street. I'm, I'm walking up to you, hey, will you check out my music? If you if look, this is the way you can find me. Subscribe, follow me. Every I'm on all music platforms, all social media platforms. I, I try to network with everyone. I'd be willing to work, whether it's in a radio station, whether it's right. person need graphic art designer, video done, music. I have uh, people even I work with work with outside of music, like in my actual life where I work a job. Like I have a coworker who wants to do music. I'm like, I, all right, I help you, like. I just, I just having that willingness to grow and learn and elevate. Right. Yeah. I think, and that's, that's, you see, that's, that's a certain thing in this business world. You know, everybody's trying to outdo somebody else. You hear that, you know, especially within in hip hop or you know rap artists and stuff like that. They're trying to get the one over somebody, but you like, you know what? I'm going to incorporate all of that. I'm going to like, look, I, I'm a, I'm not shying away from that, or I'm not. Saying no, I can't. I'm not want to work with you because you you're not on this type of caliber. You like you 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 embracing it all. Yeah, everybody got talent in a certain. Everybody got talent in a way. It, it's not. I don't judge. Like I don't try to outdo it. You, if people feel like oh I did better on this front, that's I let the people decide. I don't I don't condone and all of that. No doubt, man. And matter of fact, too, because we want to get to this other joint too to. Uh, no love in these streets. But before we get into all of that, let let some of the people know uh, how can they get in touch with you, or what's some of your social media, or like what, what, you know how can they get a chance to to work with you? Um, hit me up on Instagram, Black Cross B L A C K C R O five five. Twitter as well, same way, same way spell B L A C K C R O five five. Or you can, like I said, Google me, right? All you got to do is Google me, hit me up on any one of my music platforms, and I'll be willing to network. Just make sure right. you subscribe and follow. I'll be willing to Man. follow back. Like, ah. Yeah. Man, that see that is that something I, I I really hardly hear a lot of artists say that. That's why I know that what, what you're bringing out there is definitely real about what you're doing because you're like, yo, y'all, y'all all can come get some. You know what I mean? I'm definitely feeling that. I think we got another call just called in it as well. Um, I want to see what's uh, the number was uh, 297. Hello, call you right here on Ski Beach Radio. Music Review, want to say your name? We want to give a shout out. Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's your boy, Josh. Hollering at my mother, Johnny, down there. Do your thing out there, little boy. All right. Coming from Cincinnati. Coming from Cincinnati. Coming out of Cincinnati, so so tell us tell us something, brother. Like, uh, how do you feel about working with him, or like you want like, or you work with him, or you uh, are a fan, you a follower? What's the deal? You produce? Uh, I'm I'm his brother, plus I'm a fan. Okay. All right, big up, big up, bro. Yeah, no doubt. It, he's been doing this since he's been doing this since we was little. He always been a right. dog. It was, it was a dog at the sports. The music, you name it. It's just a talented bunch. Much, much love, much love. <laughs> no doubt. So, yeah. so since like you since you related, so give us give us a, a a cool story or something about him that some of his listeners don't know. Uh, he said a cool story, boy. How we used to always be petty when we was little. I'm gonna tell you what we used to do. I wait till he go to sleep, or he wait till I go to sleep. We put like lotion on each other's face, <laughs> all type of stuff like that, <laughs> paddle and all type of stuff. You take right. that. Yeah, we, we just we just was out the as a kid. No doubt, that's that's the stuff, man. Yeah, and you can see that you guys got that that camaraderie, that brother, that brother, like that's the stuff. Who is little? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Still there. 
All right, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Big up, big up, right, bro? Uh, we got somebody else yeah. as well who called in as well from 883. What's your name? Welcome to the Skeebies Radio Show and let them know what's going on with you, B. Oh, I think that call must have dropped. But, all right, so I mean, we lost that call right there for the 883, but you still call back in. You know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. Call in at 516-387-1247. Oh, you know call this Cincinnati call in. It's a free call. The call up and give you a man. Uh, Black Cross, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little shout out and some some love. So I want to get to another one of your tracks right here too, man. I want to get to this joint right here, uh, No Love in These Streets. Before we get to that joint, can you, can you give us a little uh, bit of synopsis of what the song is playing. about? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What were you saying? Oh, no, I, I was saying, saying um, can you give us, can you give can you give us, uh, like you know, a little bit of uh, insight of what the song is about? Um. No love in these streets is about it's basically how you feel like when you feel like you like a lot of people turned on you, friends, family, people in general. You feel like you're alone, like um, you just grinding, you ain't getting no, you just grinding out the situation, grinding out life, and trying to pave a way for yourself. Yeah, right. my, my verse is talking about. That. My verse is talking about society and what's going on in my life at that current moment. So this is why I feel like I ain't had no love. I ain't had nobody to depend on. I always had to depend on myself. Man, that's about to change, though, bro. That's about to change. I, I see this in your future, where you're going with these kind of things, man. Where, where you're picking your, your, your music and your status is definitely going to, like, it's going to... Uh, so it's going to be up to par all the way up, man. You guys want to you check out this joint right here, Black Cross. My man is in the house. Do remember, B-L-A-C-K-C-O-C-R-O, the number 5-5, five, five, right, Black Cross. Go Google that right now. Yeah. Check them out on YouTube. Everywhere you can find that. Everywhere you can, like, download music and check them out on, on SoundCloud. We'll get some more information on that as well, where you can find out. Just, just uh, tag Black Cross. We're going to this joint right here. No love in the in these streets. All right, let's give these radio music review. Let's turn up. Come get some.
punch it, leech is trying to hold you back. Same with stab you in the back. Can't get behind, always prepared to step ahead of anybody, whether it's family or friend. Don't trust the soul, step yourself, you ain't gon' rap on yourself. Respect you earn, the crown you own. Just tell it how it is and how you feel on every side. Ain't no love in these streets. Let that be a lesson learned. Why you feeling by your lonely? Try and bless you that you love earn. in these streets. Ain't no love in these streets. Uh, ain't no love in these streets. Nigga sign in these streets. Stay away from these streets. Uh, Cause ain't no love in these streets. Uh, MDI, DC, can't take nobody serious, everybody stay focused, focus on the hustle, keep getting rich, people wondering who is this, well they know they curious, BC, I'm too furious, get them lifestyle of a lyricist, growing up saying niggas hating on the next man, we get the money any way you can, niggas really sick in the head, all I see here is blue and red, heaven hell got a peak game, some hoods getting better, some got worse, know this shit changed, nothing the same, my dog thought the streets was money and games, Doing dumb shit for fame. How can he see putting in work? I IP to my dead homies and family. Laying in dirt. But I took a different way for switching up my personality. Like, like a Gemini. Making major moves. Cali having major key. Get like him times three. Cruising around the city. Getting litty. Having fun doing me. me. Dropping classes. Target on my back. Like an atlas. Moving silently. Henny streets. Buzzing like a bumblebee. Bumble. Like the death is you and me. Got some hitters. Get it done. Small feet. King shit. LeBron James. Shoot the kill. Not the miss. Banging at the rim. Hurting feelings. Pressing all dreams. And making dreams reality. Don't don't make me angry, let the incredible hawk out of me, the evil side of me. Go for fun and torture the set, I'd rather be friendly, keep up peaceful. Most lethal with a smart mind, no dummy, my road to success. Legacy of an icon, can be overshadow a real trouble for knocking on the door. Don't get trouble. Unlike others, I stay real and truthful to myself. And there was what's happening, awaiting at the door. It's hard to overcome the roar, so witness the gore, the pain, the war. He ain't city, maybe one of these days I become your idol. And open your eyes, meaning there's more to life. All right, man, that's not so. Dope right there, man. It's your man, Mr. Stout. We're still in the building right now with Black Cross doing his thing, man. That, both of them songs, man, so dope. No Love in These Streets and uh, Started From Nothing, which is the intro. Um, yo, bro, those songs are just like, they're amazing to me, man. I'm definitely, they're going to be on rotation on, on, on my show on CMB's Radio Music Review, also on on on, uh, on the Move Unscripted, because these songs are definitely, they big up right there. But also, I see that you got somebody who also called in as well. Uh, let me find that number right there. Uh, uh, caller, we got your number right here. Uh, I don't want to move this line. I think you got another caller called in. Caller, you, you, um, you on the line? I don't know what happened. Right Hello? Yeah. What's your name, bro? Welcome to the show, man. You want to you give a shout-out? Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to my city, Detroit, 313. What's up, Black Cross? All right. What's good? What's up, my All right, man? so what's good, bro? So what, what's your name? Are you want to put your name out there, or like, like what's your affiliation uh, with Black Cross? Well, I've just been following him for a while. You know, I'm, I'm from Detroit. You know, he be rapping with some of my, my little homies. My name Reggie. Okay. All right. Yeah, no doubt, man. So the, the, what's what's something you can let uh, let the people know about uh, Black Cross? You know, like how you guys uh, get down, like, you know, out there doing this thing with this music. 
Uh, all I think I can say is that um, he got he got many different styles. Like I've been listening to him a, a lot on YouTube, and he got I don't heard him freestyle. Seen him perform at a a show one time at Mad Frog. So you know, I, bet, I just like to see the young guy up and coming. Hello. Right. All right, you know, there's a little bit of background noise, but we good, we good. You know, I just like to show love to the, to the local artists. Yeah, man, them. yeah, yeah. No doubt, man. So is there something that you guys, a uh, guy, something that's coming up soon? You said you also work with him in the studio? No, I didn't say I work with him in the studio. I said I just been following him, and I've seen him perform at a show. Yeah, you know. So, I know yeah, so, no I doubt. Know so, I, go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I know people say, that well, about what that to, uh, to Black Cross. What is it like, you know, for uh, sort the of performances? Like, how was it on stage? Like, how did the, the audience receive you? Oh, they received him real good. He got he got hella feedback, and I mean, he was performing pretty good. And like I say, one of my dudes, he got a little entertainment company, Baller Guy Entertainment. So he be he be giving my man Mad shout out, and then you got my man. Uh, uh, what is it? BM and he be uh dramatic music, he be giving my man shout out. So he be networking with other artists that I follow as well. And you know, they be doing their thing. That's what's up, man. Yeah, big up to that right there, man. So now do you guys got any uh Black Cross, do you have any uh, performances coming up in the near future? Yes, like I told you before, I'm actually in the process of working out a two month tour contract. Um, but I'm not doing anything until my album release July 20th. Okay, yeah, that's big right there. All right, July 20th is when it's going to all drop out there. You guys, look out for that right there. Black Cross, man, look out for that. B L A C K C R O, the number five five. Black Cross, come get some that as well, man. You try him everywhere. You know, like I said he's on YouTube. He's on that piff. He's on Reverb Nation, doing some things with them as well. Uh, that's that's like you know that's, that's a big deal right there. Um, now any songs or on? I'm sorry, say that again. Three sixty five and no love in these streets is on all music platforms. My EP album will be on all music platforms. All right, yeah, man, yeah, that's what's up, man, and 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 that's so that's so big right there. So now, how do you see yourself? Like, what's what's your future plans? Like, how, how you see yourself in like a year or two from now? From right now. A year or two now, I should be, I should be on the, on another tour. I'm planning on doing a four month tour two years from now, and where I'm just touring nonstop and working on music and investing and trying to get back to the community by that time. All right. So is, is there like any movies or anything like that? Any acting or like you want to have merch? Is like anything like that going on? Merchandise. Um, right now I'm starting off with the news video because uh, with the news video I'm doing an actual short film for 365. Um, going into the music video, um, once I get a few a few videos under my belt first, then I'll try to transition into acting as well. All right. All right. Yeah, that's that's really good, man. So I mean. Like, you know, working with a team and stuff like that, you know, all all the guys that call in and your family and the people who are supporting you and stuff like that, how does that feel to, you know, to get that kind of love from them? Man, it, it feels great because um, it's not like, it's not often that I get to talk to my family or friends or people in general because I be sometimes on the go. Like, I work a job and I got four other hustles on the side that I do, yeah. so I... Uh, my music is one of was one of them hustles. It's the main main hustle. It's the main goal yeah. because that's what I want to do do for my foresee, foreseeable future. Yeah. Now, so by saying about you know your foreseeable future, is it going to be like a label? Are you like building a label or something like that? That you or a production company? Uh, actually, I am in the process of working out a label. I was going to call it uh, MDR for Make Your Dreams Reality, but I just recently found out that. There's already a company called that, and I can I can um, call my record label that. So I'm thinking about okay. establishing Media Dreams Foundation. 
Okay. Um, yeah. It's already been, in, it's already in the process of everything, just waiting for the approval. All right. That's what's up. I think we also, I think we got another caller just called in. Caller, you just called in. Uh, can you let us know your name? We're here on Skin Beast Radio. Music review on, on the move unscripted. What's going on? It's Patricia oh, M. What's going on? I had to call in and show Black Cross some love. What's going on, all Black right. Cross? I'm doing, I'm doing good. How you doing? Oh, fine. You know, I've been checking out your music on YouTube and everything and going to your website and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay, you got a little movement going on here, Cincinnati, Ohio. I didn't even know y'all got okay. down like that. Mm-hmm. It's the season of the house. They've been doing it. Keep your eyes on it. They've been doing their work for years. So, well, um, are, you know, we're going, we're planning on having an event in Atlanta um it's coming up real soon, and we're reaching out to all the people who have been guests on um, On the Move Unscripted or Skin Beast Radio Music Review. So definitely because you've been a guest, we would love, you know, when that time comes to offer you the ability to, to um, you know, if you're interested, you know, to take advantage of, you know, performing in Atlanta. And, you know, if you have any merchandise, you know, offering you the opportunity to get a vendor table, like we're doing that to all, the, uh, you know, a lot of the different guests. So hopefully – you know, that'll be something that you'll be interested in. Yes, uh, most definitely will be interested. I would love to do an event for you guys. I would just, um, like I said before, I just want to at least get this one music video done while I got the opportunity to. And then uh, everything will be open. Uh, I wasn't planning on performing until after my album release, but when you guys, uh, if you guys have something earlier that you need me to, um, need me to perform, I will. It's just, I just at least want to finish this first music video first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a guy right, right, put together right. a will, put together a, a script for my short, for the short film part of the video, and that's the stage we're in, and then we're jumping into the actual music video. Okay. Oh, yeah. you got so time. You got time. Well, I, I don't yeah. want to hold up y'all's show. I just wanted to, come, um, you know, call in, show you some love. You know, I'm so glad to hear you and other artists from Ohio, Detroit, and all the people who call in to show you love. Like, that's what's up. Like, you know, we need to stick together and promote each other. So keep doing what you're doing. Most definitely. Thank you. I appreciate that. So it looks like we got another caller that called in. Uh, caller, uh, what's your name? What's your, uh, we just called in. We just put you on the line. Are you there? Hello? Yeah. You wanted to say something to uh, Black Cross? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hey, how's it going, Black Cross, man? What's up, brother? I'm good, brother. How you doing? Doing good, man. Well, we used to play football together and all, and he always was with me doing the... uh, Games and everything, man. Everything was live with Black Cross. All right. Call what's your name? <laughs> Josh again. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. That's yeah, what's really man. good, man. Thanks for calling in, man. And, yeah, we definitely, uh, you know, appreciate everybody calling in and, you know, and, and, and showing all that love, man, you know, what's going on with, you know, with Black Cross. And all the new endeavors that he got coming up and things of that nature, man. And I can see this going to be an international uh, thing out there for everybody to get along with this right here. I want you guys to go check it out, man. Go to Black Cross on all platforms. There's music is out there right now. Uh, Black Cross 365 is out there on all the major platforms. So you guys go out there and get that. Um, you said no love on these streets is out there as well, right? Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, so you guys go out there and get that, man. Um, now, I have like, one of my kids. I wanted... Uh, wanted to say something too. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. One, one of my kids uh, wanted to say a shout out to him. Yes, my little brother Johnny. Go ahead, do a shout out. Okay, go ahead. Shout out. Oh, Shout out to me, Big K. You know what it is. Shout out to me, Nice. Nice. I love that. Johnny, yeah, yeah, keep it up. Johnny, Bonnie is real on Facebook, man. You're a real one. 
All right, man. I love that. I love that, man. Enjoy this, man. Yeah, so man. The kids, that's, that's had, the kids had to do a shout out too. Yeah, that's big right there, man. I love that right there. We hardly, we hardly ever have any of the young ones called up, man. So I love that right there. Big up, man. Kids, yeah, they was into the music. They, they was like, oh, I want to, I want to say something. So, you know, I had to let them get on there too. They was gonna bug. They was gonna bug me if I did. <laughs> no doubt, man. 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 Yeah, so I mean, you got all these things that's actually going out there that's happening, you know, and you know, we we're, we're definitely want to support what you're doing. Have another number? Oh, I think we had another call. Hold on, we have another call right here. We got another call from uh, four three zero. Is somebody else on the line? Hello, caller? You got another, another caller on? Hello? Yeah, Hello? you want to you give a, uh, a shout-out out there? You want to give a shout-out to Black Hawk? Yeah, I do. Right, what's your hey, name, man? Big up to you, homie. Uh, Jay. Yeah, Jay. All right. Do you want the producers? Yeah. <laughs> Is Jay nine? Nah, nah, I, nah, I ain't no producer, but you know what I'm saying I, 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 I heard him on SoundCloud, YouTube, and everything. I've been following him. You know what I'm saying? I thought through this music for real. I've been, I've been talking to him. I've been trying. I've been, you know, I, I ain't talked to him, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like his music. His music sounds pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> where, where you calling from? <laughs> Uh, I'm coming from uh, Cincinnati, for real. Cincinnati. Right, all right, yeah. Big up to in the house, man. Big up to Cincinnati for showing all that love, man. Ohio, all right? Big up to Ohio for showing the love, man. And, you know, all the way across the board, man, you guys look out for everything. Yeah, that's love in the street. I want to hear a bro album. I really want to hear a bro album. I like his singles, for real. The singles, I be bumping in my car on the way to work. That shit get me in a mood. Right. Early. Nice. <laughs> I love it, man. Uh, you know, we got a few minutes left and stuff like that, man. Thank you guys for calling up. But we also definitely want to, um, you know, let everybody know, like, what's going on uh, with Black Cross. And, and we want to get, again, about all of your social media and, your, you know, your Instagram, your Facebook, uh, your, you know, if you're doing uh, TikTok, Twitter, whatever they can find you at, man. You said to Google you, but you hit them again to let them know where they can, you know, Find you at it as well. You can look up all you have to do is type on Black Cross, B-L-A-C-K-C-R-O-5-5 on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have an old artist page on there. You can like like and follow on there. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Reverb Nation. You can follow me on um, SoundCloud. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. I'm on MySpace. Um TikTok, you can make Apple Music, Spotify, yeah. Google Play, Title. I'm on all music platforms. All you got to do is search that name, B L A C K C O 55. And Black is for Black Lyrical Fashion Causing Chaos. All right. I like all that. Right. I like that a lot, man. Now you know you got to have some money for that. Now you know you got to have some money for that. Thank you. You no know, doubt, bro. Now, we, we no coming doubt, to a close. Now, we we're coming to a close. close, 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 close we're going to run this again on the radio show 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 on the whole interview again at the whole interview again at Green Beach Radio on Spreaker. We went right here also on the radio show on the radio show on the radio show as well. So, we're getting to double up on that. So, I'm glad you guys all called in. I'm glad you guys all called in. All over again. All over again. Out there, and you definitely got some facts out there. And you definitely got some facts in, in, in the underground. And I'm just going to do it. Did that. Um, yeah, bro. Anybody want to give a shout out to? Anybody want to give a shout out to? Hey, shout out to my Uncle BM. He told me he, he, he's been one of the biggest people in my family that's influenced me to do music. And shout out to uh, T.I. You feel me? Hope he made it through his situation that he got going on. You feel me? Bless him and his family. You said T.I.? You said T.I.? Yes. Oh, I, ain't, I don't know. That must be a school. Oh, I, ain't, I don't know. That must be a school. 
information of no one. You said what? You said that um You said that um um that the eye is broken something? That the eye is broken something. Uh, no, I was just I just I was just shouting out to T.I. and uh, blessing his family to make it through through the situation that they are dealing with, you know, with, okay. with with the media and everything. And I just gave a shout out to my uncle Bill. He he got a big album coming. He got an album out called The Big Way right now. It's a pretty dope mm-hmm. album. He produced and did everything himself. Uh, and that's that's where I'm trying to get to. All right, so definitely. We're going to look out for that right there. We're going to look out for that right there. I'm coming back in this time. We're going to use some time. We're going to use all of the time. And we're going to get to this joint right here. No love in the No love in the No love in the Thank you, bro, for calling us up. Thanks, bro, for calling us up. No problem. Thank you. All right, it's turning up. All right, it's turning up. Yeah. Be sick. Let's get it. Ah. Uh, 24 7, 365. I ain't got time to sit and rest my mind on the grind. Go and get it for me and mine. 24 7, 365. Stand focused. Don't talk about it. Just be about it. My birth is son who was born. MDI, DC, can't take nobody serious, everybody stay focused, focus on the hustle, keep getting rich, people wondering who is this, well they know they curious, BC, I'm too furious, get them lifestyle, have a lyricist, growing up saying niggas hating on the next man, get the money any way you can, niggas really sick in the head, all I see here is blue and red, heaven hell got a peep game, some hoods getting better, some got worse, know this shit changed, nothing the same, my dog thought the streets was money and games, Doing dumb shit for fame. How can he see putting in work? I beat to my dead homies and family. Laying in dirt. But I took a different way for switching up my personality. Like, like a Gemini. Making major moves. Cali having major key. Get like him times three. Cruising around the city. Getting litty. Having fun doing me. me. Dropping classes. Target on my back. Like an atlas. Moving silently. Henny streets. Buzzing like a bumblebee. Bumble. Like the death is you and me. Got some hitters. Get it done. Small feet. King 
boost it. LeBron James shoot the kill, not the miss. Banging at the rim, hurting feelings, pressing our dreams, and making dreams reality. Don't make me angry, let the incredible heart out of me, the evil side of me. Go for fun and torture the state. I'd rather be friendly, keep up peaceful. Most lethal with a smart mind, no dummy. My road to success, legacy of an icon. Can be overshadow a real trouble. Come knocking on the door, don't get trouble. Unlike others, I stay real and truthful to myself. And there were what's happened. Awaiting at the door is hard to overcome the roar. So witness the gore, the pain, the war. He said he maybe one of these days I become your idol and open your eyes. Meaning there's more to life. life, life.